Nache wede na tambula ne mva wano ne ngende guru era ne ntuka bulunji ne oluna ko olwo mba nkoma uwo na tambula ko olo ne ngende atera ne nkoma uko olo ne mba nkoma uwo zalinga sawa tano eze chiro kati enteje ya fabreti ne salo lugudo kati kwali tugenda kufuna accident ne omusajja na asiba spi abantu abasinga abambali bebase bude bwali chiro bali bebase Buli muntu natia. Nene baza katondera na ita yesu. Nenga anti yesu. Mukama jango tutase. Ne mukama yali uo. Na tutasa. Ne tuko maunga tulivalamu. Kumanga nagendo. Natuke wange. Sawa msambo uwe chilo. Nene baza katonda. E anta ambuza. Na antu seguru. Ne nko mao. Ngandimulamu. Mukama haba uomu kisa. Yes, here was a Babalu Ganda. Amanya Gangans Elizabeth Camu Canavid. Come, I ever see. Our duty is even on some baby. I answer Bambu way. Cosper Sunday Nessie Sovola. Now your duty is the quick gamba Kuzam Banangi Mani. Come, I ever see way. Twago with one Mayum Banga with young Amber. Nagendo Valabala Mamma Yumba, Bidim was a tongue. I start there called Bajiro. Na ye chintu chene cheche unya munda yange tuline nyumba jituwa ingira kuruomu kaga kuruomu kaga ne watu gova. Echu kuigama nange chiamala mwa magezi nange nche unye ninga mbobachi alichi ne tu ingira kuruomu kaga. Ate kuruomu kaga ne watu fulumia sawa mkago guichiro. Na ye nga mbisele vyo abafumbo tuata ambula anga nga buli lwa sande tutambula ntugenda mu families za zaba nafe ntugenda kusabira wamu kati kusando olwo enkera kwiga matu abatu kufulumya sa olwa mukaga ne kusande twa twino gende mutundwe wa mukadde buzibwa banange sasa za mu lugendo lwange batu fulumya nali namulamu wange ntugenda ntusombe bintu ekirecho chokanga ndiru buto lwa miezi munana enkera walwa Nenzi joku saba, netu teka teka, netu genda, neba msumba, netu vatu da. Nemba gamba mvira mwa kumubala ka msumba disa inangamba gundi ovula. Kufanga siji abadama nyide. Nemba gamba msumba sibula. Sirina gwe nanyega, sirina gwe nabuli lako. Mbana inga viku wa sinso nyi. Nga viti isa, ne inga nze yesu wange mwe kuteko vwenti. Nga mwenyezeza. Wabujuli zitebusa nyusa nyu na ye musumba ya nsaba mbuweyo. E nyumba jendimu kati mpezezo mwaka kwa kumi na gumu teba mfulu miangako. Sina zimba na ye katonda ya nkasuka mkono gumu nunu ziwange ya madam Hopkins zisemanda. Mwaka mavampiru. Abaluganda mwaka maewa zwe. Elinya Renate Nalvo, Hallelujah. Ngan Sabira Muchfortino. Neba Zamukama, Twin Assemble Kujano. Ruto Rai Ramiez Munana. Go Mwana Alibulunji. Twawe Zemiez O Mwenda, O Mwana Natural Supposition. Nastama Mulubuto. Nebio Nabio Nanga, Biali Wars, Tani Nara, Na Golu Imba Relugambi. Hamas Mayesu, your Nabi Singa Nawangula. Netuvi Chamu. And so as no, never some come up by a baby girl. I tell Mukama now confirming a linear in a mobuzanga. Eh, Mukama, you told me of this name, Eliasha Kaina. But what is the meaning of this name? Nemusaba Nemu Nebuzak Moyam Tukuvu, Ela, 27th of June. Mukama now proving a linear Shakaina glory. Never some come up, Rasi Matrinity Shakaina glory. The Shibanet and Bimojis. Kale tukatenga roza fe, tukubile katuonda, orobu juli zobo vetu ulide. Elatu imile kubikelebi ya fe, tuanirizechi gambo cha katuonda, awamu no msumbe laicha. Hallelujah! Amen! Amen!
Hallelujah. It's not enough for Jesus for the great things he has done. Hallelujah. Amen. Do whom do you shout hallelujah? Because some of you did not even open your lips. Amina. Amen. Hallelujah Hallelujah is biblical, it is in the scriptures. You can say to yourself, we are only making you open your mouth, but it's biblical. Whatever we're doing is in the Bible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God reigns. That is what Hallelujah means. <laughs> and then you add on the scriptures that are written according to you. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen. Amen. Bobanga omazeke miezi munananga olimulamu. If you have finished the eight months and you're still alive today, and you're alive, and you're alive, we were here on Thursday in the healing service. The lady that God healed cancer in the Super Sunday of June she, she had to wait until the month of August for her free test results from Mulaga. God had healed her in the month of June. We're just waiting for the doctor's report to confirm what God had done. She says she was afraid to speak out certain things. When her uterus was taken out, in her private parts, she was still having a lot of pain. Even just mere doing laundry. It was in pain. She felt like she needed to be laying down all the time. She had a bad, a bad back ache. Because the cancer was slowly spreading. But she says on that particular day in the month of June. She felt a presence that was standing beside her. Yet I was, you know, a distance away from where she was. And she felt the fire of God go through her body. And immediately, she felt on the inside of her that she had been healed instantly. From this place, until when she went back to the hospital they checked everything the power of God is so mighty in this place Amen. 
He's, if you came for the service, and you're busy watching whatever is happening outside, please take up the front seats. And when we come to such a place, and the grace of God is available, have faith and do whatever you're told to do. When they tell you to shout, hallelujah, shout. For us who stay here and we listen to the testimonies, on Sunday God did great things that are above our human understanding. Stay standing. There was a lady that was seated up at the balcony. She fell down in 2017. And her back got a problem. She had received treatment. Now now you you can take take your seats. They had treated the back. After they had given her all the treatments, it got to a time and the doctors told her that her back would never be well again. And you set aside the back ache. She got an infection in 2008. And they were treating the infection. And the infection would not cure. It only got worse. It got to a time when her urine was yellow. But every time she would visit the restrooms, she wanted to completely undress herself so that she can get that breeze because of the too much pain she was in. If you're a lady and you have ever gone through that pain and the infection, you know. But on the Super Sunday, she got this place full. So she went and sat up at the balcony. The, the young lady who had a back problem she says as I was praying for this particular one she told herself how I wish they would also call me and instantly she felt an electric shock go through her body and then she thought she had been electrocuted what she felt as I was praying for her back it is the same that she felt while sitting on the balcony she did not know that God had healed her it's after she went back home Uh, because she works in a company uh, a bikes company she was working in pain but when she prepared the bites at night she felt no pain when she went to the restroom she was now her urine was clear there was no more pain the place that you are in in this new month of September this is a special month it has been anointed with a special grace our eyes will behold the goodness of God our eyes will behold the great and wonderful and mighty things the Lord will do things that are above and beyond our human knowledge great and mighty things things that the doctors have failed to work on those that are nearing the grave those who have lost hope Jesus is going to be compassionate to everyone 
God is going to make compassion unto me and my house in the month of September. He is the Almighty God. He's the son of the living God. He is the beginning. And he's the end. The book of Acts. The book of the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 3. Chapter 3. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We bless you for this morning. We bless you for our first Sunday in the month of September. We bless you for your grace. You are God Almighty. You are God. We, will, we bless you because you're in our midst to cause your name to be glorified. You're here to affirm your word in the divine power. Today in this first service, the second and the third, and in the evening glory, no one will step into this house and we go out We bless you for the evangelism that is we taking place. place. We bless you for saving, transforming, and healing. And we bless you for establishing your work in that place. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Sweet Holy Spirit. Let us introduce Jesus to every man and woman. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 3 from verses 1. The Bible says that Asituliwa Petero, awamune yokara ne bamwe kaliriza amasu. Petero na agama anti, tutunulire. Na wawuliranga alooza anti, banamu wa ese, eki intu. Na ye Petero na agama anti, efeza ne zabu sibirina. Na ye chenina, chenkuwa. Mulinya dia Yesu Kristo. Umuna zalez, tambula. Naam kwata kumukono ogwadio namu imusa amangu ago ebigerebye nobukongo fule nebifuna amanyi nagolokoka mangu naimirira natambula naingira nabo muyekalu ngatende nga atambula ngabuka ngatendereza katonda abantu bonna Nibamulaba, ngatambula, ngatendereza, katonda. Orekumi, nibamutegela nga yehuyo, yatula nga kuruji olulunji. Oruwa ekalu, okorachi, okusabiriza efeza. Nibamunikirida nyo, nukwe unya, orecho, echimukole duwa. Hallelujah. Amen. Want, in these minutes, I want to speak about, I want to introduce you to a name that is worshipped in heaven on earth, beneath the earth and the seas, the name of Jesus Christ. 
Turn to your neighbor and tell them you're welcome to the house of God. You're welcome to the month of September, a marvelous month. A month filled with God's grace. A month filled with God's working. When Jesus was teaching, this is what he told us. In John 14. Verses 13 and 14. Jesus said, whatever you ask for. In my name. It shall be given or granted to you. There is not another name that has power. Except the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. It knows no rock. The name of Jesus. If you'd only believe it. And you begin to use it. And using it in a special way. The name. Elinya. The name. Elinya. The name. Elinya ya Yesu. The name of Jesus. What has verses 14 said in the book of Acts? Uh -huh. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. He has said, do not ask in any other name. But whatever you ask for, in my name, not any other name. There is a name and that is the name of Jesus. That name is going to do us good in September. That name is going to do things that are beyond our comprehension. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Colossians 3.17 Colossians 3.17 Colossians 3.17 and whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of our Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through you. Whatever we do, we should do in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every, every, whatever you pray for, pray in Jesus' name. Whatever you believe for, believe for it in the name of Jesus. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. That name never fails. You have seen how it works. You have seen how it transforms. You've, you've seen how it takes away the tears. You have seen how it heals every sickness. Jesus has said, Whatever you so desire, ask for in my name. And the Apostle Paul said, Whatever you do, Every, whatsoever, do in the name of Jesus. Now Peter and John were getting into the temple. This man would be carried daily. And they would set him as to sit on the beautiful gate. But he was not beautiful. He was a cripple. For 40 years. He had been crippled. He was in that situation for 40 years. 40 years is a long time. When he saw Peter and John, 
The people would carry him to the beautiful gate for him to ask for That is the best they would do for him. That is what they could do for him. People can ground with you. People can encourage you. That is the best they can do. But there is something that you can do for anyone that is in a situation. You can speak the name of Jesus to every situation and it turns around. Turn to your neighbor and tell them, know what you have. Know what you've been given. Fred, know what you've been given. Someone even tells you, dear, but your, your, your face is still frowned. And you even fail to respond. What sweet words can we use? <laughs> Please wear a smile as you tell them, dear. Tell them, my dear, there is something you have. You have the name of Jesus. Because I say, use it. Jesus said, Whoever calls upon my name shall be saved. Agenda Kulokolewa shall be saved. I want to tell you, friends, this month of September, today is the third. Agenda Kulokolewa Mubulimbera, you're going to be saved from every situation. Agenda Kulokolewa, you shall be saved. Not for any other name, but for the name of Jesus. Two years suffering with chronic backache. You had not discovered the power in the name of Jesus. You spent a lot of money to treat the bug. You need to get to a point where you now believe that your money or your finances can no longer help. Jesus wants those that are tired. But if you still think there is an, a professor that can attend to your back, it will not oh, work. In two years, she would come here, see other people get set free and delivered from buckets. But Mr. Kasumba still had some money to take her to consultants and professors. But after she confirmed that money had failed, she brought her back egg to Jesus. Today she's healthy. Today she's healthy. What month was it last year when God healed you? It was May the 18th. May 18th, God healed her of cancer. So it's now past a year. God heals the ones that are fed up. But when you still think you have an appointment with the consultants, first go see them. First go see the consultants. When you get tired of Nakasero and seeing the consultants and you say, Jesus, I only have you now. Jesus will do it instantly. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor you have a name that knows no situation. Just think about this name. 
all of us in this What's place the except the person that is getting born again today. There is not a single one of us who has never been attacked by an evil spirit in the night. And you felt like they were pulling you by your leg. But when you begin to call Jesus, you're still in your sleep. You feel like you've spoken loudly that Jesus and Satan will flee and when you wake up you think people heard you scream did you hear how I shouted if Satan you speak about Jesus' name in your sleep and he flees how about if you're wide awake and Peter says gold and silver right now I have none but I have something I have something so he told the man in Jesus' name <laughs> in Jesus' name have you gotten it? In Jesus' name. Tell those evil spirits from your clan in Jesus' name. Go! Yeah. If anybody is scaring you, tell them, don't worry. I have something that is greater than what you think you have. And regardless of what you do, you cannot defeat me. You cannot defeat me. You can't. The name of Jesus. Mulongo. 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 Oyo Mulongo. Nakato. Babidia was giving us her testimony here on Thursday. She had asthma. I'll only now today share one. She shared two with us. So this, um, the cloudy, the windy, what kind of weather. She had to stay indoors. She was wheezing. She came here and God healed her. She was testifying on Thursday. It was cloudy. And she was telling us I would be indoors covering up. Satan is bad. Certain weather conditions causes you to be indoors while everyone else is busy about their life. But we bless the Lord for sending us his son Jesus. Acts 4. Verses 12. Acts 4.12. Agambia sote wali mulala bulokos. Sote wali mulala bulokos. Ubanga te wali nalinya dala. Wansi wegulu. Eli atu wewa. Eli awewa abantu. Eli tu guanida okutulokola. Nor is there salvation in any other for there is no any other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. The name that we've been given. Let us read from verses 9. Agambe what? Bwetubu zibwa. Bwetubu zibwa lero. Olokola obulunjo omuntu omurwadde. Echimu onyeza. Mutegere mwena. Nechibi na chona. Echaba Israeli inti. Mulinya liya Yesu Christo. Omunazales. Gwe mwa komerera mwe. Kato onda gwe yasuki za mubafu. Kubuoyo. Ona imiri denga mulamu. Mumaso gamwe. 
So Let's first pause there. Agambye bwe mutubuze chikozo no bulunji. He told them that if you ask us how we were able to heal you, let me tell you, there is the name of Jesus, the same Jesus that you arrested, the same Jesus you crucified. The one that God raised from the dead, that same Jesus has done this today. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you, friends. Because of Jesus, because of Jesus, we are going to progress. Because of Jesus, we will complete this year. Because of Jesus, we are going to be blessed overwhelmingly. Because of Jesus, we overcome every fall. Because of Jesus, we are progressing. On Wednesday, they brought a child here in the service. She had an auntie here. She sent for her from Namugongo. You would, she's so malnourished that you'd even see her ribs. She got a problem with her tummy. She had a chest problem. And she was vomiting blood. So on Wednesday after the service, I asked her to bring her back on Thursday. She cried tears of joy. Because she, she did not feel the pain anymore. Tears of joy. Tears of joy. Tears of joy. Let me tell you. You've probably been weeping and crying. Sorrow. Maybe your tears were tears of sorrow. But when Jesus comes. When Jesus comes. He brings tears of joy. When Jesus comes. He came and visited the house of Abraham. There were tears of sorrow. Yes, they were wealthy. But there was no child. He came to Manoah's house. There was no child. In Abraham's household, there were all. But when he came, he brought tears of sorrow. Sarah says, who would have convinced Abraham that at my old age Sarah would bear you children Abraham I have bore him a child in my old age Mrs. Manoah had given up she was in the garden the angel brought good news and in her old age, she gave back to something. Elizabeth, who was called a barren woman. Elizabeth, who was called, called barren. Jesus came. And he brought good news. Elizabeth, and Elizabeth gave back to John. That is why Hannah says, that a barren woman had give, has given back to seven. When God meets you, when you have an encounter with God, He changes everything. You are my heart in praise. You always fill my heart with songs. Of deliverance Whenever I am afraid I will trust in you I will trust in you Let a weep say
Jesus is good. Yesterday I received news. About Mrs. Mwange, the one that was healed of cancer on a super sound. Whose breast, one breast had been amputated. And the other breast also became cancerous. The Lord healed her here in the month of August. But what amazed me. She's healthy. But she went to a private hospital for a checkup. Paying a lot of money. But the line was too long. Until yesterday. Her appointment had never come. But she's healthy. The devil has attacked so many people. But there is a name we've been given. The name of Jesus. There is a person that the Lord is bringing me now. This is what the Holy Spirit is showing me. I see an evil spirit embracing you. And you're stunted. You feel like something is holding on to you. That has to set you free this day. Today. Today. Amen. Amen. Uh, Come Come lecture Laptop in Jagalan to low our socket. At Nangan and to Lapch saying our socket. Jalo no Nangamba. Do what was in Jagalo governor now? I translate because yeah, yeah. it's a long one. Okay. Um, he He's doing his studies from KIU. So yesterday, after their first lecture, he wanted to use his laptop to do some work. So as he sat near where the socket was, okay. a lady said, I want to share something with you. Ivan in the at Weta Bokosa Kamele Yokovid. Kati na Nangamba Tunurida. So she told me, Look, look at me, what do you see? And I said, I see nothing. Nangamba Nti Waluchi and Pitam. So she told me there is a situation I'm going through. COVID, I mean COVID lockdown. During the COVID-19 lockdown. One of her breasts became cancerous. And it was amputated. And it was amputated. COVID COVID. So during that time, they, they had just checked the wound. The wound had not healed. I don't remember which hospital she had went to. But the doctors were afraid to attend to her because she was also having COVID. But her wound was still fresh. They asked for a private room in that hospital. The hospital still she had, she had no one to remove her stitches because she had COVID, so people did not want to attend to her. After a time had passed, it is a clinic that helped remove her stitches. She went through a and she shared all the pain that she went through. 
So she says, my second breast. It is showing the same signs of the cancerous breast. And she told me if I had not already cleared my school fees. I would have gone back to Lira where I come from. And I looked at her and told her, why did you feel you had to share this with me? She said, I came from home. I said, I need to share this with someone. She said, I felt led to share with you when you sat beside me. He said, God is going to have compassion on you. And I asked him, do you believe Jesus can heal? She said, I am fed up. I am fed up. I am hopeless. I am fed up. I don't want to experience what I've experienced during my first amputation. Okay, wait. Wait, oh, May you please come? So, I call Pastor Elijah. Sumberi and Angamba and Mugamba Jencha. Pastor Elijah told me to invite her today. And here she is. Okay, Praise God, church. Come, My name is Betty Ajak. Betty Ajak. I'm from Lira. Avamu Lira. And I'm studying at KIU. Together with Brother Andrew. Just like he has said, I, I have breast cancer and the left side of the breast was operated. It was during COVID-19 and I went through a lot. If I'm um, to share all that I went through, it will take time. But God took me through. And I was able to overcome that first. Um, then of recent, I started feeling pain again on the right breast. And I saw the size growing more than the normal size. I checked the breast and I found those same signs. I broke down. I was like, God, why this? with all the challenges that I have because during the first treatment I was helped by sympathizers I didn't have any money people who helped me I don't know where they came from the family where I am married abandoned me I was helped mostly by my family members and relatives. And now as I talk, I am completely helpless. Uh, my family cannot, the family we are married in cannot help me completely. It was yesterday, I called my aunt in the morning when I was already crying. I told her, I, told her I am hopeless. Because I am the one shouldering all the responsibilities at home. I have my last born nine years. 
when I looked at her, I was like, where am I going to leave my child? I have come with my daughter to join KIU. She's here. I was like, how am I going to pay her tuition? Then she consoled me and was like, you know God, you have, you have the word of God. Be courageous. God is going to take you through. So I told my daughter that there's nothing that I need right now. I don't want to go back to, for the same treatment. I am going to look for the servants of God to help me pray. And I left her at home. I went to the university. Where I sat, I was charging. Then brother Andrew also came and he wanted to use the same uh, charging point. And he asked me to, if I could allow him to put his charger because his was multiple. And I said yes. But then when he sat, I felt in the spirit that he was a servant of God and I needed to share my challenge with him. Glory, so I told him, after finishing what you are doing, I want to share something with you. But I think he did not finish what he was doing. He said, what, what do you want to share with me? Just like he said, ask him, how do you look at me? He said, I don't see any problem with you. Because I look very healthy and happy. But I said, no, I have a big problem. I was operated of breast cancer. And again, I still feel the pain in the next breast. And he just laughed. He just laughed. He asked me, why did you feel like sharing with me this? I just told him, I felt the spirit telling me, share with him because amongst all your friends, he's the only one you can share with. So he talked to me. He shared with me a few things and asked me to come to the church today. That's why I'm here. Are you ready to receive your healing? Yes. Where is the pain? The pain is here. Is there a, a lamp? There is no clear lamp but some thickness. And there's pain. Yes, Mulonji. Jesus is so good. Yes, I know. Jesus has an extravagant love. You're going to be healthy. And you will evangelize and you'll preach the gospel. You will take the power of God. Amen. It's my desire to testify and to send the same message out to the world. You're going to take God's healing power you're going to experience the goodness of God. The presence of the Lord is in this place. I can feel His mighty power and His grace. I can feel the breath of angels' wings I 
You can please raise up your hands. I can feel this might power. power. And this grace. Yes. I can feel the grace of angels. of the Lord is in this place I can feel his mighty power and his In the awesome name of Jesus Christ. That name that we've been given. That name that is above every other name. Every cancer bows to the name of Jesus now. To leave your entire body now. To leave your body now. To leave your breast. To leave that wound. To leave your blood. To leave your bones. To leave every internal organ that God created. I command you Satan. You have made this lady cry for so long. Your time has expired. I command you now in Jesus' name. You the demon of cancer. Leave her life and body now. Leave her body now. Leave her blood. Away from every part of her body. Leave her breast. You stole her one breast. You will not steal them from the other breast. Leave her body now in Jesus' name.
Father, I command the root of cancer to die. Okfa. To die. Okfa to die from her blood. Okfa to leave her breast. Okfa to die from every internal organ. I command cancer to die. I command the life of this to, The pain to see. In Jesus' name, the Christ. Son of the living God. In Jesus' name. Son of the living God. Demon of death. You who was killing people through cancer. Leave her body now. Out of her breast. Out of her internal organs. Flee and return no more. The cancer that is come trailing through the blood wherever you had come from. Go and return no more. Father, I bless you. The demon of cancer has left her life. Death has left her life. Grave has vomited her out. In Jesus' name, I command whatever had been hurt to be restored. Let your breast be well. Let that wound be healed. Let your blood be made whole. Let every part of your body be made whole. I speak God's healing power to your body. I speak life. Your God's servant. You will tell people about God's goodness. You carry this healing power to so many people. You will be of help to so many. The young, the old, and the God is not only healing you. He's not only healing you. But the same healing power fills your body now. 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 Use it to heal others. Use it to help others. Help. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Obulam. Life. 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 Wangada. You will live long. Longevity, and you see your great grandchildren. There is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lord. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lord. There is power. Please stand on your feet, Mama. Mama, you stand on your feet and you see. Oh, there is power. Power. Wonder working power. In the precious blood. joy in my heart I feel the spirit deeper inside I feel his power moving here today I feel a change in my life 
I feel a change in my life. I feel his power deeper inside. I feel the spirit moving here today. I feel a change in my life. I feel a change in my life. I feel his power deeper inside. I feel the spirit moving here today. Oh, I, I feel a change in my life. Come on, church, I feel a change. Oh, ya la la, sha la la, manda kare bare bara. Oh, deepa isa. Oh, move on here today. Oh, change my life. Okay, please take your seats. Pa microphone. Spola mgamba nyigano onye. Mgambe yeke bili. Please check yourself. Do an examination. Self check. There's only some mild pain to be touched. I don't feel like I was feeling the other time. Agamba tawulida ngabo ya zawulida. Because if I could stretch my hand up like this, I would feel the pain from under the rib down to the breast. Lulibu abadenga gololo mukono guo gongo bulumi abu uli ranga buta nikira wano mumbiri zinebu amboka wagulu na eka akati. I don't feel it. Tabu uli da. Amen. Jesus is wonderful. His name is wonderful. His name is wonderful. Jesus, my Lord. He's the mighty King. Master. Do 
What do you feel in your body right now? I feel some cold or something in the waist. Sorry, what did you say? I said, as we were singing the worship song, I could feel some coldness moving. And I don't feel the pain. Mugambe katia kebele buli kantu kona na mani ge go na kini gebele ye kebele. Shake, press the breast, and and let's make sure there is no more pain. Do a self examination for every part where you used to feel pain. Check it now. Do you want to uh, have some privacy and check yourself? Hallelujah. Amen. I believe if you came sick, you now have the faith that God is going to heal you. Okiriza. You now believe. Oh, we believe, yes. Thank you, Jesus. This place is covered by a heavy cloud. A cloud of the power of God. Amen. Okay, Who has pain in their body? Stand upon your feet. Ebigere <laughs> Sister Titi. Ebigere biku bibo guma biku luma. Bima ze bangachi. Sembe dawa. Bima ze bangachi. Omwaka mulamba. A whole year. She's Omwaka been healing that pain in her feet as she moves. Okuva wansi paka wakulu. Obe dawa. Chilo ombe. Today is her first time to fellowship with okay. us. Okay. Part of the single woman. Thank you. 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 Spirit of the Lord. Spirit of the Lord. Spirit of the Lord. 
Holy Spirit. Thank you because you're good to us. You're good to us. You're so good to us. Mabel, bring. Bring the young lad. Sister, I'm coming up on ya. Uh huh. Oroka soka chubuli. Praise God. Mukama eva zibwe. I went inside and tried to feel where there was that uh, tenderness. It is not there. I couldn't pull up the middle, the, the nipple, but as I was able to to pull the nipple. Okay, You did not let us translate for the Uganda Uganda. <laughs> let us first tell the Luganda listeners what she was saying. Agambie. Then I also had back pain, and you know when you have such complication, there's always that back pain. As I was seated, I had a lot of pain, but now I'm okay. Abad de Walinga today of Lumi Mugongo Gabunji Kakata Chabu Lida. I strongly believe that Jesus Christ has healed me. Zikiri is at Dalanti, yes, of Christo Amazo Kumponya. Jesus has already healed your entire body. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you for healing the people that stayed seated. Plastic chairs are sweet. See how much God loves us. God took Andrew to the university for her sake. God caused Andrew to charge from the same socket where she was seated so that Andrew would bring her into her miracle. I want to tell you in Jesus' name there is no more cancer in your body. No more Go and preach the gospel. Tell people God's goodness. Where do you fellowship Church from? Of Uganda, I am an Anglican member. Mm. Where is your I church? fellowship from um, All Saints Cathedral. Cathedral. Yeah, All Saints Cathedral. Yeah, I perceived that you are an Anglican. <laughs> Go and tell the Anglicans that Jesus says he heals. Hallelujah. Amen. She'll come back on Super Sunday and testify. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Okay, my review is on Wednesday. Kuro kusatu on 6 August. On 6 August, on Wednesday. September? Yes. They'll give you a good report. And then you come back bye with bye. a good report from the doctors. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Um, just see for a short time. Hello, sir. Obolomi, what are you doing?
Chimimi wabu na asesema. Dilo mkono kutele kulukutolwe. Yani ya manyo? Hmm? Mubiru. Mubiru biruwa mubiru utasoma abo nye bo nye na ye. Obulwade kwe wava bazade be bazi mbe nyumba. Nye ba ingine nyumbe mpia. Weba ingine nyumbe mpia. Umwana na wake bintu biyalaba. Okuvolo na randi kukuruwala. Bamtu wala kusumiru katono na dawaka. Kusumiru kasuma yu nakurumu. Mwene tamu asumiru yu nakurumu. He only has been at school for one day through the entire town. Waino kupamu waluo omuntu wa mubi aine chindu chiyate kama nyomba angabaji simba. They probably put charms in the house as they were constructed. Na ye mubiru mukama agenda mukula. But God is going to heal mubiru. Okay. Wala wakuruma. Na wali benaga ambi, batu deda musigalenga mtu deka tugele none ya, imi, ya sigada imiri de. Tara mulinye ya Yesu Christo, ama nyagwani? Tara sabida nantu wango juriyeti. Ndagina kwa mulabe setan. Foya li nantu wango juriyeti. Kakati. Vamu chi watoche. Vamu maguruge. Vamu bulipachi yombiri kwe kakati. Mulinye ya Yesu Christo mnazarezi. Kwe daimon ya wada mlumi ya maguru. Echi wato. Okuguru kwa na. Ndagi lole kobula mweka kati mulinye ya yesu. Ogeenda. Na antongo bulimulaba afulu mwomu bili kwa. Bulimulabe. Afulu mwomu bili kwa. Eda no mulilo kwa katonda kukuitam. 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 Nagido bulumi bugwele wo dala Nagido bulumi bugwele wo dala Mulinye ya yes Kwe daimoni abada zimbia bigele Alumi echi wato Genda todanga na te Echi vina weba ze mkama Weba ze mkama Weba ze mkama Na tongo neso kwenye ze wajori Neso kwenye ze wajori mbili kwa Nagido bulumi bugwele wo dembe Chikumi kuchikumi chikumi Kumila Yesu Hallelujah ya mani Hallelujah Webale Yesu Webale Yesu Webale Yesu Webale Yesu Webale Yesu Thank you Jesus Natongo anyate doa Natongo tunulida Nantongo. Oh, we vale mukama. Nantongo. Tunuira mkuu. Tunuira. Tunuira. Saga la mtu wajia mtu msaavi singa tena ba kukuwa. Mugu miki dize. Be patient until the service. Let me caution us. 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 You can be patient and wait. Moja kulete, moja kule takae bizibu ya abuereri. Bishop wana zaba, labu le mirundi. Tebo gire la msavisi. Do not speak. Toita mukama wawanga akola gumiki liza. If the Lord is at work, be patient. Njoke dana ne muami seba galana ya ayo gira. Ah ah. Nedda. Mugaina msavisi yoku sato. Third service. Wewa lo moyo wa mukama. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Natongo, ndabi okuonye zewa, guwa badoro mwolu, otelo mtu walu mwa wanu mwolu buto, gwe, eh? Dobale lukuluma mwolu mwolu buto. Ndabi okuonye zewa wanga kuja, ili olu buto luo. I saw healing come towards your stomach or your tummy. Na olu buto luo lumazo kuona. Even your stomach has been healed. Your body is free. Juli ze, bujuli ze, bye bye. Bye. Let's stretch our hands towards little Mobiru. Mobiru. O kirizanga yeswa inechisa. Oli mchibi naji. P2. O inoku soma sadi tamu Mobiru o gende mo P3. Amen. He needs to attend third time. So that he is able to progress. Hallelujah. What a savior. Hallelujah, what a friend. Take him, you know, you jump people to vote. 
Let's stretch our hands towards See him as your son. You paid for the school fees, but he was not able to attend school. Father, in Jesus' name, I command that evil spirit that entered into Mubiru and you caused him to have that stomach pain. Whatever charm they put in their house, I command every evil spirit to flee their house in Jesus name. That demon to leave that house in Jesus name the Nazareth evil spirit that they found in their house let them flee from the house I call fire to come upon their house the house of Daddy so it's filled with fire whatever charm they put in the house whatever dreams and nightmares let it all be consumed by the fire of God let it all be consumed in Jesus' name today God Jesus I call down your fire to destroy every demon fire 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 Fire. Fire. Command his intestines to be held. His dewardnam, his small intestines to be healthy. To be healthy. To be healthy. I set him free. He's missed the second time. But he's going back to school for the third time. And he'll be among the ten best students that have scored highest. In Jesus' name, I bring life to his intestines, to his chest. Whatever had been hurt, let it be made whole now. New intestines, new internal organs in Jesus' name. Let's pray a blessing for you. Today is our first Sunday in the month of September. I want you to speak to this month. Speak to it in Jesus' name. Whatever you're believing God for in this life, command that it will be done in Jesus' name. Don't ask. Command that it works out. If there are those things that are delayed, command that they stay in Don't let it be closed. Command them to open now. Command in Jesus' name. Command. Open your mouth and begin to command. In Jesus' name. Command. We command a blessing. We command a blessing upon your life. We command life. We command prosperity. We command freedom to come to you. We command freedom to come to you. That job lets that job. We speak to this man of September. Great and mighty things be manifested. The grace of God be made manifest. We speak a blessing. May God's power be manifested. We break every chain. We break every shackle. We command the enemy to be destroyed. All that you were supposed to believe in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Speak a blessing to your children. Speak wisdom. Speak a blessing to your wife. Speak a blessing to your family. Speak providence. Through September. 
We speak a blessing. We speak a special We speak providence. We speak a blessing to men and women. Blessings, blessings, blessings. In Jesus' name. A special grace on this man. A special grace on this man. A special grace on this man. Special wisdom. The goodness of God. Prosperity. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Okay, 